Let's take a look at how to run two PowerPoint presentations, one, two, side by side in slideshow mode, which looks like this. Here I have an English version of my presentation running, and at the same time I have a Chinese translation of that same presentation running in slideshow mode. At some point when you start to work internationally, someone's gonna ask you to do this, and the trick is to run these as individual windows. So these are slideshows inside of individual windows, which brings up some important terminology. And that terminology is understanding the difference between a full screen slideshow in PowerPoint and a Windows slideshow in PowerPoint, which we can use the setup dialog box to make this adjustment. Now, by default, all PowerPoint presentations are set to run as a full screen slideshow. So across the screen slideshow, which is not what we want, to get two PowerPoint presentations to run at the same time, we need to change each one of those presentations into a Windows slideshow. So presentation one, presentation two becomes Windows that we can then snap onto our screen. So let's look at how to set this up. So let's walk through setting up a Windows slideshow in PowerPoint, which we're gonna do by coming to the slideshow tab and coming and clicking the setup slideshow command. Now you are gonna need to do this for each of the presentations that you want to set up side by side. And if you wanna learn a secret PowerPoint shortcut, you can fast track to this dialog box by holding the shift key and either clicking the reading pane or the slideshow icon. So let me come in PowerPoint and show you how this works. Back here in PowerPoint, I'll minimize this presentation so that we can set the English version and the Chinese version of our presentation to run as Windows slideshows. Let's start with the English version. I'll maximize the screen. I'll navigate to the slideshow tab. I'll come and select setup slideshow. And here, I'm just gonna change it from the default full screen presentation to browse by individual window. I'll click okay. I'll minimize this presentation. Again, we do need to do this to both presentations or however many presentations you wanna run side by side. This time, instead of coming to the slideshow dialog box, I'm gonna hold the shift key and click the reading pane icon, which will automatically pop open the setup show dialog box. I could alternatively hold the shift key and click the slideshow command to jump to this window, which will allow me to very quickly change it to browse by individual window. I'll click okay, and then I'll minimize the screen again. The next step is to resize your window slideshows in the order that you want them to run side by side on your computer monitor. And the easiest way to do that is with your Windows Snap shortcuts, which is simply using the Windows key plus the arrow keys on your keyboard to snap your windows into place. So I'm gonna use Windows Right Snap for my Chinese presentation and Windows Left Snap for my English presentation. So let's take a look. So for my English presentation, I'll hit Windows Left Snap, and it's gonna snap to the left side of my screen. Notice I immediately get the option to snap the Chinese version. If you don't like shortcuts, if you grab your windows and you just hover towards the top of your PC, you will get the option to snap left, right, etc. I personally find the Window Snap option, so Window Right Snap, Windows Left Snap, the easiest way to quickly sort out your presentations. Once you have that set up, all you need to do is run your slideshows however you want to run them. A few shortcuts that start you off. F5 will start your presentation from the beginning. Shift plus F5 will always start your presentation from whatever current slide you're actually looking at on your computer screen, which is the same, this is basically the shortcut for clicking the slideshow command at the bottom of your PowerPoint workspace. Back here with my presentations to run the slideshow. For my English version, I'll hit F5 on my keyboard to just start the slideshow in the actual window. I can snap it to the left. For the Chinese version, I'm gonna click the slideshow icon at the bottom of my screen, which will start that slideshow from the slide I'm currently on, which is currently the title. These again are now windows that I can move around. And if you don't like those window snap shortcuts, if you grab a window and just hover towards the top, you do get the option to snap left, right, or corners, or split it up however you want. I'm just gonna snap it there like that. Now a question that people often ask me is, can you advance both presentations at the same time that are running in slideshow mode? And the answer is no. Coming back to our side-by-side -side slideshows, I would need to advance the English version of my presentation, then click into the Chinese version and advance it. So company history, Gong Si If I move to the next slide, I would need to select the English version, advance to company goals, select the next presentation, advance it to Gong Si Mu Biao. So you do need to move these or advance each individual presentation on its own. Another question that people often have is, does changing how my slideshow runs affect my other PowerPoint presentations? And the answer is no. If you have three PowerPoint presentations and you set one as a window, 
all of your other default full screen presentations will remain in the default version. So only the presentation that you change will actually be affected, which is a great reminder to change it before you send it to your clients. If you change your full screen presentation into a Windows slideshow, your client will probably have no idea what is going on and why it's running as a window. So make sure that before you send it along that you change it back to a full screen presentation, which is what most people are gonna expect or how most people expect a PowerPoint presentation to run on their computer. Now as a last quick topic, let's talk about what works and what doesn't work when running a Windows slideshow versus running a full screen slideshow. Here on the next slide, I have an example of the right click menu for a full screen slideshow and the right click menu for a Windows slideshow. And notice here for the full screen slideshow, we have all of our pointer options, our laser pointer, our pen, our highlighter, and a whole bunch of jazz. Here in the Windows slideshow, we have very limited options. So right off the bat, the pen and highlighter does not work when running a Windows slideshow, but you can still use the laser pointer shortcut, which is control plus click and drag with your mouse, which if you need help activating this, you can check out my other video for more details. Now, if you've already learned something new about PowerPoint from this video, please let me know with a quick thumbs up so I know what kind of content to keep creating for you. Now your key takeaways from this video are, yes, you can run two PowerPoint presentations side by side or three or four or five all on the same monitor. The trick is to set them up as window slideshows that can be resized. I recommend using Windows Snap shortcuts or the Windows Snap features you'll find at the top of your computer screen to arrange the presentations the way you want them. Just keep in mind that each presentation does need to be advanced individually and that Windows slideshows do have some limited features. If you're new to the channel and want to keep up to date on my latest PowerPoint hacks, tips, and tricks, what I like to call PowerPoint hack trickery, make sure you subscribe here on YouTube. And if you're just looking for some PowerPoint resources to help get you to happy hour, like PDF cheat sheets, articles, and video courses, look at the links directly beneath this video. This is Taylor from Nuts and Bolts Speed Training, and I'll see you at happy hour.